Among the foreign royal members who attended the coronation ceremony of King Charles III of the United Kingdom last year, the most splendidly dressed was undoubtedly Queen Consort Suthida of Thailand. Adorned with a large sapphire necklace matched with matching earrings, with a diamond brooch sparkling at her waist. Her triumphant smile made her appear unexpectedly domineering, despite her previous gentle and obedient demeanor. At such a moment, who still remembers that also in London, during the 60th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's coronation in 2012, by the side of King Mohavajralongkorn was his then wife, Princess Surazmi. Wearing the same traditional Thai attire, with the same charming face and graceful figure, 11 years have passed, and much has changed. So, how did Suthida, as the fourth wife of the Thai king, manage to supplant her predecessor, Surazmi, and then rise above the other palace beauties to become queen? Today, let's delve into her story. Suthida was born in 1978 and graduated from university in 2002 with a degree in communication studies. Instead of pursuing a white-collar career after graduation, she chose to join Japan Airlines as a flight attendant. Three years later, Suthida switched to Thai Airways, which directly led to a dramatic turn in her fate. At that time, the Crown Prince of Thailand, Maha, besides his fondness for beautiful women, had a passion for flying airplanes. In his younger years, he enjoyed piloting fighter jets, but as he grew older, he shifted to flying commercial airliners for Thai Airways. On one occasion, Moha saw an advertisement featuring a Thai Airways flight attendant who exuded elegance and grace. The lecherous prince squinted his eyes at the poster, and those around him immediately understood his intentions. The flight attendant depicted in the poster was Suthida. So, on a certain day in 2007, Suthida was assigned as a flight attendant on a Thai Airways plane piloted by Crown Prince Moha. Suthida's half-life with the Crown Prince thus began. Now, what significance did the year 2007 hold for Crown Prince Moha? Well, his youngest son, Dipankorn, turned two years old that year. Dipankorn was the only son born to Moha and his third wife, Surazmi. As expected, Dipankorn was to be Moha's heir. However, the unexpected occurred. People gradually noticed that Dipankorn was slightly different from typical children, showing signs of autism and developmental disorders. Moreover, another scandal erupted that year, adding to Moha's troubles. Princess Surazmi's nude video celebrating her 30th birthday six years ago has been leaked. In the video, Surazmi is seen accompanying Moha for a candlelit dinner in the garden, disregarding the presence of servants, remaining unclothed throughout, and even kneeling to feed the dog. This incident has stirred up public outcry in Thailand. Since then, Moha has gradually distanced himself from his wife, and the emergence of Suthida has accelerated this estrangement. In 2009, German media leaked a photo showing Suthida and Moha strolling the streets like a couple, with Suthida wearing a tank top and jeans and holding on to Moha. Further revelations indicate that Moha has been living with Suthida in Germany for an extended period, only occasionally returning to Thailand. Although Moha continues to attend all official royal engagements with Surazmi, outside of these events, Surazmi resides alone with their young son in the palace in Bangkok. Meanwhile, Moha and Suthida are seen enjoying carefree days together in Germany. On the surface, Moha, Surazmi, and Dipankorn appear to be a family of three, but in reality, Moha, Suthida, and their dog Fufu are the hidden true family, residing far away in Germany. In 2014, after years of public pressure and his weariness of Surazmi, Moha finally decided to divorce. Following the divorce, Moha regained his single status, but Suthida did not receive the proposal she had hoped for. Instead, what she received was exile. Although Suthida once held a prominent position in Moha's German hotel, young and beautiful girls continued to emerge incessantly. Around 2012, Moha had already become involved with the lively and charming Saninat. Like other mistresses, Saninat was also arranged to stay in the German hotel. As Saninat garnered more and more favor from Moha, the relationship between Suthida and Saninat became increasingly tense. According to the staff at the German hotel, Suthida and Saninat were separated and assigned to different floors, never to meet. 
Eventually, to openly associate with Suninat, Moha provided Sufida with a new home in Switzerland. However, he rarely visited himself, essentially leaving her to fend for herself. Of course, the fact that Moha could provide Sufida with a separate home indicates that he has not completely given up on her. In December 2016, known for bestowing military ranks on his mistresses, Moha elevated Sufida's military rank to the level of general. Meanwhile, with the passing of the old king, Humibol, in the same year, the selection of a new queen consort for King Moha became a topic of public interest. Suthida remained one of the most popular candidates, closely followed by Suninat. At the funeral of the late King Pumibol, Suthida and Suninat both appeared impeccably dressed, standing at attention with perfect military bearing and meticulously applied makeup, clenching their fists tighter than anyone else. But who would ultimately emerge victorious? Moha found himself unable to make a decision. Shortly after the funeral of the king, he returned to Germany, refusing to fulfill his duties as monarch, postponing his coronation ceremony, and refraining from appointing a new queen consort, continuing this stance for a full two and a half years. It wasn't until 2019, realizing that further delay was untenable, that Moha decided to hold a grand coronation ceremony for himself in May, officially ascending to the throne. However, a king nearing his 70s cannot be without a partner during his coronation. Therefore, just three days before the coronation ceremony, Moha hastily held a marriage registration ceremony with Suthida. From 2007 to 2019, after 12 years of being clandestine lovers, Suthida finally stepped into the spotlight. However, perhaps still not entirely accustomed to the new role of the queen consort, Suthida during that period often appeared cautious and hesitant, as if walking on thin ice. When attending official duties, she would walk by Moha's side, often resembling a nanny, either wiping his sweat or fanning him. Just two months after the coronation ceremony, the public completely understood why Suthida always appeared so cautious. On July 28, 2019, which happened to be the 67th birthday of King Moha, the old king gave himself a great gift on his birthday. His former mistress, Suninat, ascended to become the royal concubine. Bestowing the title of concubine in the 21st century can only be described as Thailand being more serious about maintaining feudal traditions than even the United Kingdom. The ceremony for the appointment of the concubine was particularly grand and solemn, almost resembling the coronation of a queen. Both ceremonies involved the king sprinkling holy water on his kneeling wife, who in turn presented gifts to the king. The only difference was that during the latter ceremony, Suthida sat silently on the side, her expression blank as she observed everything unfold. Suninat harbored ambitions to compete with the queen, revealing her possessiveness towards the king and disdain towards the queen. How Suthida, who appeared gentle and fragile on the surface, managed to survive in the ruthless and tumultuous harem, remains unknown to outsiders. However, judging from the eventual outcome, she must have exerted considerable effort behind the scenes. In October 2019, just three months after assuming the position, Suninat was suddenly stripped of her title as a royal concubine and thrown into prison. Among the official charges announced, one prominently listed offense was her attempt to challenge the authority of the queen. However, Suthida's respite was short-lived, as Suninat resurfaced in the public eye in the summer of 2020. After her release from prison, she swiftly flew to Germany, where she was personally greeted by King Moha. Subsequently, Suthida returned to reliving the bitter days of her past in the golden cage once again. Despite ascending to the throne, Moha remained capricious. Even during the pandemic, he didn't stay in Thailand, leaving Suthida alone in their villa in Switzerland, while he enjoyed himself with Suninat in a hotel in Germany. Whenever he needed to return to Thailand for official duties, Moha's private plane would depart from Munich, Germany, first landing in Zurich, Switzerland, to pick up the Queen before proceeding to Thailand. After completing his duties in Thailand, they would return along the same route, dropping Suthida off in Zurich before landing in Munich. What infuriated Suthida even more was that after reinstating Suninat's title, Moha openly displayed affection toward her. Not only did they frequently dress in matching outfits, but Moha even handcrafted New Year's cards. Furthermore, around the New Year period, 
Suthida disappeared for nearly two months, and Saninat was the only one accompanying Moha to official events. There were even rumors circulating among the public about a potential change in queenship. So, did Suthida just give up? Not. When Saninat's title was reinstated, it wasn't long before many journalists following the Thai royal family received storage cards containing over a thousand photos. These were selfies from Saninat's several phones, some of which were quite revealing and seemed intended for the king's eyes. The mastermind behind this scheme aimed to replicate the scandal that brought down Sri Razmi years ago, using it as an opportunity to oust Saninat. No one knew how these photos leaked, but speculations were rife that Suthida might have been involved. Additionally, Suthida was adept at ingratiating herself with the king's family members. Whether it was with Queen Mother Surikit, the two daughters of Moha, or even the first wife of the king, Suthida showed the utmost respect and maintained excellent relations with them. Both princesses staunchly stood by Suthida's side, and those who disapproved of Saninat even pressured the king due to Saninat's excessive favoritism. By the end of 2021, whether it was the king's realization or Suthida's and the princess's successful pressure, Saninat, who had enjoyed a year and a half of prominence, suddenly vanished into thin air. Up until today, she has not reappeared in the public eye. In all events attended by Moha, Suthida was the sole companion by his side. Saninat's disappearance also brought a newfound radiance to Suthida. Whether it was Queen Mother Surikit's 90th birthday or King Moha's 70th birthday, surprisingly, the spotlight shone brightest on Queen Suthida. Moreover, judging from the jewelry Suthida wore over the past year, while she still occupied the Queen's position, her status had been elevated. The Thai royal family is the wealthiest royal family globally, and if Moha could be a bit more generous, Suthida would undoubtedly outshine everyone wherever she went. However, the issue lies with Moha, the fickle king. Will he allow Suthida to continue basking in such glory indefinitely, 